Hey guys, this is Turn On Tutorials. Today I will be showing you how to make your first RSPS. This is the RSPS series. There will be videos following this. Um, in the next videos, you'll be able to see lots of features on how to code your RSPS and how to make it into a great server. Today I will be showing you how to make yourself admin and change the name of your source and client and where to download one. First off, go to runeserver.org. It's a great community for RSPS. I use it a lot. This is where I usually am. First off, you want to go to RuneScape Development category in the subform Downloads. In this section, you can find any source or client you really need. Today, we're going to be using Insidia X. Lots of people use it. It's a great source, lots of features. If you don't find it on the first page, you could just search it. It'll most likely pop up Lots since lots of people use it. If you look in the features, it has lots of features. Like I said, lots of people use it, so it's a great source. At the bottom, you're going to find a source and client link. Download them both because you're going to need them for later on in the next videos and this one. I already have them downloaded, so just pause the video while you download them, or you could watch the video. All right, first off, we're going to go to Insidia Source. Find the run batch file, right click, edit. Once you do that, it's going to look exactly like this, or most likely. If you're running 64-bit, you're going to want to um, you're going to want to add parenthesis x86 after program files, and then if you're not running, if you're running a 32-bit, just leave it the way it was. Right here, this is your JDK or JRE. Um, you're going to want to replace this since this most likely isn't your Java version. So you're going to want to change JRE to your JDK version. To find out that, you want to go to, to start computer C drive program files and then go to Java and there it is if you don't have it you could download it at java.com it'll most likely go into this folder and you'll have it just copy that and replace it here after that exit save and do that for the compiler on here and on your client After that, you're going to want to run the source because you need to run that to start a uh, login onto your client. Once you get to your client, do the two things I said. Just replace them because you need to. 6 and then JDK. Alright, once you do that, you're going to want to run your client. We're going to make you admin real quick, owner of, or owner of your server. This probably won't be the background you have because I changed it just for the video. Um, to log in, just choose any username you want. I'm going to go with Atlanta since I was born in Atlanta. I live in Atlanta, yeah. So your password's going to be whatever you want, really. Enter world. Once you log in, this will create a file in your source files. Just log it back out. It just creates a file so you, so you can find it. First, go to your source. Go to data, characters and then find the name of your file and open it. You'll find character rights near the top. It'll most likely say zero, change that to three for admin and two for mod. We're gonna have three right now for later on in the videos, we're gonna need it. And for is donator, make that one. The donator is just to see the donator options you'll have in your server, um, just, yeah. All right, after that you're going to want to compile you don't have to but I usually do alright don't gotta wait for that alright enter the world and now you are admin or owner of your server if you'll check in right next to your name you'll have a crown that is um, specifying that you are admin log back out cause we don't need this right now exit exit again Go to your client files, open up, and go to client.java. Once you have client.java open, you're going to go control find Insidia. Or whatever source you use, just type in the name of that source. Once you find it, copy it, control H, and replace it with whatever name you're going to use for your RSPS. We're going to be using Sigma. After you do that, you want to exit, save, and you're going to want to do this in GUI, 
and maybe another folder but I don't think so after you do that you're going to want to exit save and compile the server to all you, all compiling is is basically just saving the progress you have done even though you saved it in the folder I mean the file just you just gotta compile um, you just have to do that after sorry I made a mistake alright so once you do that just exit save compile and I'll save that so some of your names are changed you have to uh, do that in the source also um, go to src server model players and find client.java again in your source folder you're gonna want to do the exact same thing we did in the client folder and you're just gonna want to compile after and then you're gonna want to rerun your source and some of the names will be changed alright so we have made you admin download the source and change some of the names um, thank you for watching rate subscribe comment see ya